GSCD, and this is what she writes. As a two-time Rutgers alumna, GSC, and at SAS, and an employee for over 13 years, I feel that with the priorities at Rutgers have shifted from a focus on students and academics to acquiring more real estate and athletics. At my current unit, we have completed our strategic plan and are in the process of selecting a new dean. As a result, we have focused on the school's mission and how to continuously recruit, retain, and support all of our students so they can succeed and graduate. We are developing innovative continuing education programs for alumni and professionals that will ensure they remain at the forefront of their fields. We are seeking new grants to further support research, instruction, and assessment, and encouraging collaboration across various units. We are always striving to do our best to uphold Rutgers as a top tier university. However, like many other Rutgers staff, I have mortgage, car payments, and medical expenses for aging parents that represent significant expenses. And yet, each year I pay more for my pension and health care so that my take home salary actually decreases. This is not how we build the university. In order for Rutgers to succeed, we need to have a strong commitment to our students, faculty, and staff, and this means we deserve a fair contract. Rutgers staff deserve a contract that is as good as the faculty's. We deserve nothing less. Thank you. I'm honored to be Thank you for being my